Hello, today we're going to talk about the ENET meter and the Netalytics software that goes along with that to retrieve or read the device scent diagnostic data out of the ENET meter. And uh, so on the screen here you'll see a blank uh, Netalytics screen. We're going to browse to find the ENET meter, selecting the IP address that the ENET meter is in, the range. And then it goes out, searches, we say open selected ENET meters, and then we say finished. And it populates the uh, column on the left hand side here. Uh, and we also we see uh, all of our nodes showing up here. I just reset to, um, to clear the data back to uh, a fresh start here. Uh, you also see power loss data here as well. Power loss data is data that gets saved at the time of a power down of the unit meter in case there's an unexpected power down and you can then uh, retrieve that data and look at it at a future time, future date. So in our network here, we just have a small little network. It's node 7, 11, and the master. And then there's also the network bucket or category that uh, is for overall network readings. And so we'll select node 7 for now. And we can see the data down here. You see that the node 7 is yellow, meaning there's a warning in the data associated with node 7. We look in here and we see it's the fall time uh, associated with the can high. Uh, uh, line. So the data is broken out into can high being the white, can low being the blue, and green being the differential. So differential meaning the difference between the can high and the can low signals because device net is a what's called a differential pair and so you're more interested typically in the uh, difference between those two rather than the individual readings. However uh, when you go to try and diagnose or dive further into a problem deeper, uh, you may then want to focus more on the individual readings. So I would recommend that you start looking at the differential readings and then the uh, network readings down here at the bottom. Uh, and then, like I said, if, if you see a problem, then dive into the, the individual can high and can low readings. So we also see one uh, uh, fault here as well. Uh, just to, to highlight as well, the warnings and faults are, are, are determined based on levels that we have set within the firmware of the ENET meter. And uh, those, those can be adjusted by you uh, through the limits, and that's over here. Um, you can go in and uh, select, say in our case, node 7, and unlock, and you can go in and change all those limit values to what you would want for your network. And you can change those based on your current readings that are coming back from, the, from your network. Uh, to cater it around what your network is currently doing.